Hey everybody, my name is Katamar. Welcome come back from the video of the Forgotten City. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and talked with the merchants and stuff. Uh, we pretty much talked uh, to a lot of people. We're still trying to figure out we are going to need to re-talk to them because uh, after talking to uh, Virgil, we are going to need to investigate what's going on in this entire place. Now, I do want to try and change things up a little bit. And try and see how far the golden rule goes in this video, boys. Now, I already know I can't steal because I I tried it off video. It does the whole golden uh, rule thing. So you can't steal. But what if I take the bribe? And what if I do other stuff like I, I don't help uh, people or stuff? What happens? So I want to try to be a baddie in this one. Uh, we're going to try things out. First off though, I do want to talk to the people around. Just to see if they've got like maybe some answers and stuff that I can do. Right? So, oh, there it is. That's how I see uh, what's going on. So, golden rule. Um, all this. Track highlighted quest. Okay, so I got to track. That's how you track it. Inventory. What's in my inventory? Uh, all these fiddle, uh, things. Okay. Uh, we've got point of no uh, of origin. Figured out how... Who is most likely to break uh, the golden rule and form Cynthia's. Everyone in the city is going to die because of one person. Optional. So the golden rule right here. That's basically the whole thing. It's the same thing. Uh, we've got the locked villa. All this thing. A lot of leads, right? I'm not entirely sure where to go first. But uh, I'm going to talk to... Uh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to talk back to Georges again. Because uh, I want to see if he's got anything on that uh, mysterious uh, person. That's uh, harassing Virgil. Uh, any idea was threatening uh, Virgil, my guy? This is troubling, is it not? I am afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous, though. Virgil is a fine man. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Perhaps you should ask her about it. Fabia? All right, I'll be going. So who is Fabia, though? So I gotta find find out who Fabia is. Uh, she saw someone doing the graffiti uh, last time. So we did that mission. That mission's complete. Uh, so let's find out. Let's find out real quick uh, what's going to happen. So let's go over here. Help. You have to do something. The fuck? What's going on? Arrived in the baths. Real nasty sort with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. What? You have to do something or he's going to break the golden rule. Okay, I'll get it right. I'll go right on it. I'll see what I can do. How? I don't have a weapon. Wait, who are you? Fabia, but now's not the time. That's you Fabia. Help or not. Oh, that's the girl I need, though. Well, how is this my problem exactly? Uh, I want to try and push the golden rule as far as possible, boys. Uh, I'll get right on it. I'll see what I can do. How? I don't have a weapon. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Well, I'll see what I gotta do. Um, I'll see what I can do, I guess. Thank you. He's still in there. Somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. What? The whispers doesn't, the whisper doesn't want me to. Did you hear that? Maybe we shouldn't meet in there. Never mind, I don't know what I said that. What's going on? Oh shit, she's going in. Wait, now Fabio, don't do that. It's collapsing. Oh shit. Well, there she goes. What the fuck was that boys all about? How am I supposed to talk to her now? That's not good. Look, uh, here's the thing though. That might broke the golden rule. I'm not sure how that works though. But um, the thing is, literally, I, I, I don't know what, to, what just happened there. What just happened, boys? The whisper told me to not do it, to not help. I don't know what, who the whisper is, but it's trying to tell me something right here. I, I, just, I just did what the, the thing tells, so... Is Fabia dead? What am I going to do now if Fabia's dead, though? What about uh, the whole Virgil situation? The hell? Oh 
can't believe she is dead. Fabia, I mean. She walked into that empty shrine, and the next moment she is lying dead under a pile of rubble. The gods are cruel and unjust. She was like a daughter to me. I'm sorry, friend. It's not right for me to lay my burden upon you. Well, I guess Fabia's dead now. What the hell am I gonna do? How am I gonna find out who who's the secret admirer? I guess I gotta find another way. Alright, what about this girl right here? Who are you? Isn't the great temple uh -huh. majestic? A new face. I'll wait, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Okay, so what's your story? Do you know a way out of here? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us one way or another. Alright, so what do you think about the golden rule? What's the status of the election exactly? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Well, I don't know. Who's allowed to vote exactly? Can I nominate another candidate? Oh, I could probably do that. I can nominate another candidate probably. You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. All right. Well, what's your role in the election? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Okay, so how do I participate in the election? Do I ca can I nominate myself or something? That would be the name of it right there. It's about uh, who's allowed to vote. All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. Can I vote? The woman can't vote. Mm. It never sat right with me either. There are some women who can vote. Vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. All right. And uh, such as, exactly. By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. Really? Can we start the election now? Let's talk about something else. All right. So uh, what about the golden rule? What's your status on that? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods. Which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds. As long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We ask for blessings. For good health. Bountiful harvest. Military victory. And in return, we offer praise, wine, incense or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Nah, is there a short version? I suppose so. Jupiter and Mercury put a town to the test by disguising themselves as vagrants and asking for shelter there. Everyone turned them away and failed that test, except for an old couple named Baucis and Philemon. And so the gods gave them time to escape and granted them a wish and then wiped that town off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. All right. Or perhaps is that the gods might kill you at any moment for failing their test. And they don't even uh, have to tell you what the rules are. Yeah, exactly. A cynic philosopher might take that view. But it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. All right. So what's your story? Uh, I'll be going. What's your story exactly? Who are you? Oh, my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? Oh, what would I do? What should I have done exactly? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high... Oh, for God's sake. Do I, do I look like I have time for this? Know how to address me. 
and then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Alrighty then, if you say so. How did you end up here? What's a vast old priestess? What do you do here? Uh, how did you end up here? Well, I don't... Uh, actually, you know what? I don't care. See you again. Never mind. There's no questions that are really important. So she doesn't seem like a bad girl. Uh, I think she's okay. Hey, who are you? Hello? Why are you in a cage? You know way out of here? You're going to let me out of here. Really? Well, I can try. Let me talk to the magistrate about getting you out of there. That's not what I said. I asked if you know a, a way out of here. Please. I hate it here. It makes me very sad. How did you end up in here? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was... looking for treasure. Did somebody think you were going to steal or something? Yes, but I wasn't. I was just looking. You're not just looking for treasure. That's th That makes no sense, my guy. They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. Liar, Billy? Liability. Okay, I got you. Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you... Do you think you could read it for me? Sure, buddy. I can read that for you. Letter from Cynthia's to Dulai. Magistrate Cynthia's explains Dooley was locked up to prevent him from trespassing. I was worrying to you, uh, writing to you in a relation uh, to your incorrigible inter antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Annibal some weeks ago, I wish to imp impress you upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been uh, caught trespassing, including around the Surstons, uh, uh, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your own freedom limited, let, uh, lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memory. Not good. It says they caught you for trespassing. Uh, my treasure. What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then he died. It was very sad. He said... If anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius and Ek, Ek, the priestess lady. She's a nice lady. Hannibal said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Let me talk to the magistrate. Magistrate, put you here for a reason. Let me talk to the magistrate. All right. I'll uh, I'll try and find a way to uh, bring you out. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. Well, I'm not Galerius. 
And maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Exactly. Like... Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Alright, so this will prioritize the quest showing its objective markers only. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'll, I'll get right on it, actually. So figure out how to get on the upper cisterns. Hello. Have we met before? The hell? Okay, so what do you know about the golden rule? Let's talk about your treasure. Uh, I'll be going now. Bye -bye. Okay. So, uh, we gotta find a way to get this, get this man out of there. Uh, that's the first thing we gotta find. We also gotta find, so we got a, the new mission right here. Virtuous man. So having Galerius elected magister is the only way to free Dulai from his cell. So I want to elect a brand new guy. I want to get my own guy, so Galerius. Plus he's going to be on my side as well if I elect him. So uh, Galerius, where is he at? I, I'm not too sure. So where, where would he be exactly? Track. There we go. Highlight uh, track. Select this one. That's the one I want. So, figured out how to get elected. So, I'll need to make him popular among a majority of the voters. Ask Galerius about running for magistrate. Oh, good. We gotta ask around. Well, oh, it does tell me where it is. Okay, finally, it tells me where to go. About damn time. Well, I do want people to uh, start voting for him as well. Uh, you know, that would be very good. So, if I could possibly do that. There's a graffiti right here. What is this? Secundus and Sitter were together until the end. Okay. Uh, let me talk to uh, to Gorgeous, uh, Georges again. Yeah, I know. You already told me about that. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk to me anymore. Interesting. I'll try to guide you. Okay. So, I want to... Uh, I want Galerius. I'm going to talk to him. So, let's go talk to Galerius. I'm going to tell him to... To actually vote for somebody in particular, boy. So I'm gonna tell him to. Uh, I'm gonna tell him that he needs to, to be elected. To, he needs to run for nomination. Now I need to. How do I? Ah, there we go. I need a flashlight, boys. Now nobody knows about that flashlight. How do I do that? Imagine if someone saw me with that flashlight, it would be like, "What the fuck's going on? How did you get that?" All right. So oh, look at this. So we got uh, a lot of stuff going on here. What the hell? Some sort of torture device? Okay. Well, let's just go uh, down there. I think that's where we're going to find Galerius, I guess. Where's he at, though? I don't know. Let's find out. We're going to find out in a second, boys. Okay. Can I jump down? Or do I have to actually probably go down, right? I'm probably going to kill myself if I jump down and stuff. So, all right. There we go. There we go. That should be the right place. There we go. Galerius, I need to talk to you, my man. Oh, back again, I see. All right, so who are you going to vote for? I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Well, I forget about him. Uh, I'd like you to vote for Sentius. No, okay. Uh, I'll be going now. I'm actually, once I, once I allow Galerius to vote, I tell him to, uh, to nominate himself. I'll tell everyone around to vote for him. Horatius. Alright, so Horatius, what's going on with you, buddy? What's your story? What can you tell me about the magistrate? Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? Who are you going to vote for? No, I'm not really that interested in that right now. What about the stranger? Someone did tell me, by the way. Oh, yeah. I forgot. So I, I need to talk to him, but water under the bridge, what is that? Well, this a sinner thing is very alarming, boys. The intruder thing. We confront the armed man at the city. I don't like that. Confront the armed man. And there's also this one, which figure out what's going on. Get the last key to the... Um, I'm just right now going to keep the one I have. So I'm going to keep this thing. I want to talk to Galerius as soon as he's available. I want to talk this girl too. Uh, though. 
She might be the one that, uh, that the other one was talking about, right? Knows a way out? I think she is. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Where are you now? There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. And you are as charming as you are beautiful. Oh shit, can we actually start doing so going somewhere with this? Stop it now, please go on. Uh, I'm not interested, sorry. No, you are a char as charming as you are beautiful, my girl. Let's start doing a romantic stuff. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? What? What, you came on to me? I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing. What type of shit? Let's just forget that ever. Ah, I don't know if I want to reload this. Man, I had something going on with that girl. The fuck? What? Oh my god, this is just frustrating right here. Best behavior, I trust. I guess she doesn't like to be talked back in a romantic way. I, I guess she likes to be talked in oh, a bad I way. I love your clothes. So ex back again. Couldn't stay away, huh? All right. Well, what's your story? Heard anything interesting? Uh, well, you know a way out of here. You know, normally I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking me if I want to get out of here. I was asking about an escape from the city. That's cute, but sissy, do you know a way out? Straight to business, huh? Oh, I can work with that. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth Say, a thousand denarii to you? Do I look like I'm rich? Tell me about what I'd be buying. If you have a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? Isn't kind of unethical uh, to keep all these people trapped in here, knowing there's a way out? How do I know there's a, this isn't a scam? I don't have that kind of money right now, yeah. Well, isn't it kind of unethical to let the people trapped in here? I think of it this way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now, do you want it or not? Well, if you have a way out, why you why did you, you why don't you use it yourself, my girl? Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. How do I find that money? All right, so how do I know it's not a scam? If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And I have no interest in doing that. Okay, well, I don't have that kind of money. Tell me about what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. How the fuck do I have... I, I don't have that kind of money. Perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others on occasion. I'm not getting a loan. That's not going to happen. I'm not taking a loan, boys. And I can't steal either. There's no way I'm going to be able to uh, to get the her secret. What's your story? Earn anything interesting. Uh, an interesting gossip. Certainly. For 10 dinari. Oh, for God's sake. You really are in there for the money. Unbelievable. There we go. There's your money. She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around caked in filth muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Well, uh, here's another 10 dinnery. Yeah. What, what's going on around the place? I want to know more. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. All right. So he's going to be, uh, he's going to throw a whole uh, well, festival and right. stuff. Not going to happen. He's not going to get elected. So I'll be going All now. Right. Uh, I don't think she's a 
bow one. I don't think she's a problem. This girl is probably this is Livia right there. All right. Well, I really want to inspect the tavern keg. Okay. I really want to talk to Galerius. There we go. Finally. Hope you're settling in, friend. I am. What's on your mind? Uh, what's your story? Do you know way out of here? What do you think about the election? Ever thought about running for magistrate yourself, my guy? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release duly from his cell. That's good enough for me. I gotta persuade him now. I guess we'll have to wait and see whether uh, why is Dooley in the cell? It's a bunch of missions I gotta do now. Man, so many missions. This is really an RPG. Holy shit, I've got so many stuff to do. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see whether uh, Malicious frees him or not. Why Why is Dooley in the cell? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just wandering around looking for some imaginary treasure. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. Well, it's nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most harmless man you'll ever meet. But Sentius really has it in for him, for some reason. Let's talk about something else. Alright, so what do you think about the election? Nope. I gotta... How am I gonna... I'm not supposed to con convince him to run. He doesn't even want to run. What the hell? What do you think about the election? What's your story? Do you know a way out of here? Do you know a way out of here? Uh, as much as I'd love to get out of here... Harvest so well. Sentilla, Sentius's daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could he, she found a way out? It's probably what happened. Sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia, but she'd never tell the likes of me. Well, Sentia doesn't want to talk to me anymore. But probably she probably does know something about her sister, I guess. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? What's your story? Well, it's a long one, and. Alright, never mind then. All right, so uh, let me just whatever. So Galerius, uh, I don't like this. I, I really don't like this. How am I gonna convince anybody? Can I convince people to? Are you kidding me? Vote for malicious. You gotta be shitting me, my girl. All right, look, I'm gonna try and convince you. Uh, oh, you. Oh, I can't convince you. I uh, can I? All right, my guy, Horatius. What about the vote? Who are you going to vote for? It's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Oh shit. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage. But he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course. But he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Oh, this is not good. I love your clothes. So Alright, so I gotta find out. There's a girl talking, Equitius or whatever. Is there someone uh, like uh, on uh, on the top floor or something? What the fuck's going on here? It's time the election's on. Oh, the election is on. Well, I wasted too much time. I guess I wasted too much time to uh, to convince people. So I guess it's too late now. Yeah, it's too late for uh, the other election. All right, so I, I wasted too much time, I guess, now. So the election is on. Equifia is over there. Uh, who's Equifia again? Oh, and the guy's leading. Okay, the person is actually leading me where I'm supposed to go. Uh, the whisper. A virtuous man, so figure out how to get Galerius elected? That's not gonna happen. Persuade to run for magistrate, ask Esquishia to call the election. He's waiting to see whether Malicious will help if, I, if he wins. Perhaps I can make it happen sooner. Oh, Malicious is the new magistrate now. So he has been elected ma magistrate, okay. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. Yeah, whatever, dude. No more shall you so there's a brand new guy, I guess, uh, under the the command. Whatever that means, I don't care. Oh, looks busy. All right. 
I guess everybody's busy. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth. Of the golden rule is no more. Golden rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all. So the golden rule is no more, I guess. So we can do whatever we want. Against That's about to go to shit real quick. Everybody's gonna start doing stuff. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take that. I take some money, boys. I can. I gotta find whatever it is. The golden rule is off, so I can steal whatever I want, right? All right, so tell Saint just to suspect malicious. Wait, I exercise my right as a vestal priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. What? This is insanity. You doom us all. Lies. It is time the golden rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. The fuck are you talking about? They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you. This is a coup d'etat, my guy. What the fuck are you talking about? The many shall suffer. For the what? Of the one. Oh, there's the golden rule. Oh, shit. The fuck? You're my guy. Oh, fuck. All right, this way. Cynthia, we got to get out of here. So, Cynthia, he's got a way for me or something. It seems like he has a path for me, boys. What the fuck is this? I don't know what just happened, but how is this any of this happened? With search. That's Cynthia. Oh, shit. I got to get out of here. There's a portal, boys. I just went through the portal. All right, so the guy just got elected somehow. What the hell? And that just literally screwed everyone else. Oh, wow. This is mind-blowing. This is that type of game, boys. So anytime there's something that's going to happen, restart all over again. And with the brand new knowledge that we've got. Oh, that's crazy. Now I can actually probably convince him, this guy over there, to actually run for magistrate. Alright, so the golden rule is real, I guess. I'll see what I can do. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy else to you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.